Are you considering on getting a bus cut? Well, this is your video. So I'm gonna give you some some advice and this haircut tutorial will be showing it how it'll come out and what type of fade I'd recommend with it but stay tuned this is should you get a buzz cut all right guys if you do need help with your hair let me know go follow my Instagram at Brennis cuts and follow me there because you're watching this video for a reason and you need my help or you need of my assistance. So in this instance for my client, he did not like how his hair was growing. He wanted to do a slick back, but his hair was just growing in uh, the wrong way. So if you do want to go for a buzz cut, you could basically reset your hair and then once it's starting to grow out you can start training it a certain way like combing it brushing it back brushing it forward it is a nice restart so that is probably the main thing for getting a buzz cut and yes i am starting off with a number four guard on top so usually buzz cuts are between a four and bald but this is a little bit more of a extended buzz cut just so then it won't be too short short you know but at the same time since he does have thick hair if you also have thick hair i would recommend a four because it won't make it look as small and as short you know but if you had thin hair it would be a whole different story you would look thinner you would look basically like if you didn't have any hair so honestly if you have thick hair just like my client i'd recommend going for a four but if you don't stick to starting off with shears or go with the eight as the highest guard that barbers do use but yeah this is what i would recommend and then in this part i do start the fade process so with him i am doing a high bald fade so usually it really depends on what you want and how you want to be looking afterwards so obviously it is short on top so I would recommend like a higher fade just since it could blend in easier and it will look well put together but other than that you could either go with a taper or just ask your barber what would be good for your head shape and then yes the time we did shoot this video it was probably a couple weeks ago and now I did cut his hair again and guys it's a big difference his hair because he started training it and combing it back more once it started growing in it's looking a lot better so honestly if you are having issues with your hair if you do not like how your hair is currently and you want to try something different like a brush back or a crop top where it's more forward then honestly restart or try it try it and then just go brushing it daily after the shower maintaining it you know so honestly i feel like it should work because with this client it did and if you want a little restart go ahead go for it ask your barber let's do a buzz cut like this <laughs> so yes guys i did kind of rush through this tutorial but it is all right it's more of a educational for clients so if you guys do like this video and want to see it more in depth just rewind it check it out i will be putting subtitles for it but now we are hitting the goatee so with the goatee i just lined it up and then i do believe we did bring it down a little bit but nothing too much and we did do the lineup so with his since his hair is thick usually it'll keep it darker but I'll go ahead and hit it with the razor afterwards just to make the lineup pop and after that we should be good yeah, dude. 
Here's the before and the after, guys. I hope you guys learned a little bit from this. And if you guys want to restart, go ahead and ask your barber for that buzz cut. Don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot more content coming your way. And until next time, please subscribe.